Welcome to Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL. I'm Luigi Fontana, a clinical academic and a professor of medicine and the scientific director of the Charles Perkins Center RPA Clinic. Today I'm going to discuss the new 2024 cancer statistics just published in the prestigious CA a Cancer Journal for Clinicians that is the flagship journal of the American Cancer Society. There are some very interesting novelties to highlight. Let's start. On a positive note, cancer mortality in the United States, as in many other developed countries, has seen an interesting and 33% drop since 1991. This is been attributed to success to reduce smoking rates, advancement in early detection for selected cancers, and uh, a, a notable improvements in treatment modalities such as targeted therapies and immunotherapy in particular. However, the flip side unveils a concerning trend in cancer prevention. Yes, progress is lagging in cancer prevention, with an increase in the incidence of six of the top 10 cancers. Breast, prostate, uterine, pancreas, oropharynx, liver in female, kidney and melanoma, alongside colon and cervical cancer in young adults, yes, in young adults, are experiencing increased rates. Notably, colon cancer has emerged as the leading, yes, the leading cause of cancer death in men under 50, under 50, and the second leading cause in women after breast cancer, marking a significant shift from its fourth place ranking in 1998. Additionally, cancer patients are increasingly shifting from older to middle-aged individuals who, as you can understand, have many more years of life expectancy than older people, and thus opportunity to experience the late effects of treatment of chemotherapy, including subsequent second cancer development. The authors conclude that the overall progress against cancer could be accelerated by increasing investment in cancer prevention. Yes, increasing investment in cancer prevention and not only in treatment and mitigating cancer disparities through expanded access to high quality care, but let me add to mechanism-based preventative health care. In this context, holistic approach to preventative health care becomes paramount. Integrating mechanism-based preventative measures such as healthy nutrition, regular exercise, different type of exercise, sound sleep and stress reduction alongside steering clear of smoking and alcohol plays a pivotal role in primary and secondary cancer prevention, as you can see in this slide, influencing recurrence risk and, pro and prognosis across multiple common cancers. Taking a proactive stance at the Charles Perkins Center RPA clinic, we are channeling resources to pioneer a cutting-edge, technology-driven, digitalized preventative program, including cancer prevention. One of the key initiatives aims to combat cancer comprehensively also with existing data on minimizing the damaging effect associated with chemotherapy. Stay tuned for updates on this innovative and impactful endeavor. This is, uh, as always, uh, Luigi Fontana, uh, professor of medicine, uh, the scientific director of the Charles Perkins Center RPA Clinic and the Health for Life program and a clinical academic 
academic in the department of endocrinology uh, of the uh, RPA, uh, the Royal Prince Alfred Hospital in Sydney. This is Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL, the uh, channel of uh, health and longevity and well-being. Thank you for listening.